Hi, welcome to the concept library. Please watch the complete video. So this question is actually very very popular. Uh, airplane stability versus aerodynamic center. So in this video, I will not discuss what is aerodynamic center. I will make the another video. Right now, suppose uh, we are going to discuss about these four configurations. Uh, only airfoil. Only airfoil means if we have airfoil, then this airfoil will be having its uh, aerodynamic center somewhere. Okay, I will let you know right now where. Uh, 3D wing. 3D wing means uh, we have uh, airfoil in 2D, but uh, when we talk about wing, it is a 3D body, right? Okay. So now next entire wing plus fuselage plus tail. So this is almost a complete airplane means see I am drawing here this is a complete airplane so here we have wing and here we have tail and this portion is fuselage and this is a vertical tail this is horizontal tail this is vertical tail wing fuselage now we have another one cannot configuration so D is here cannot configuration so what is cannot configuration <coughs> when this tail will come in front of the wing it's like this draw the fuselage and draw the wing and draw the tail in front of the wing so in all these four basic designs uh, we'll discuss their stabilities according to the location of aerodynamic center so if this is subsonic airfoil if this is subsonic airfoil <coughs> sub subsonic airfoil then its aerodynamic center <coughs> sorry its aerodynamic center will lie at c by 4 what is c by 4 c is the c, c is the length of the chord so c by 4 means 25% of the chord is ac ac will lie somewhere here now we have to compare this location with the location of CG. So take two cases. Case 1 when in the airfoil AC is in front of CG or you can say AC is ahead of CG. Next situation CG is front and AC is backside. So which configuration is more stable? This is what our main logic which configuration is more stable and which is unstable how to discuss so we are going to discuss about stability so first thing why are we going to discuss about stability so suppose you have airfoil and it is flying in the air free stream is coming like this it is flying in the air so because of some gust because of some gust this airfoil will turn like this okay now because this airfoil is like this then what will happen you see angle of attack got increased because angle of attack alpha this is very common symbol for angle of attack got increased so you know lift will increase right if alpha is increasing lift will increase and if lift will increase then where that where this lift is acting uh, as i told you uh, in this video i will not explain what is ac right now you consider lift will act on ac okay so this lift which is coming which is extra lift which is coming because of increment in angle of attack so this lift will either work on i mean always uh, always it will work on ac the dynamic center now if your ac is in front i mean cg is here ac is here so if your ac is here then what will happen you will be getting one extra moment right this is the lift and this is the distance from the ac so lift into this distance will give you moment so because of that moment this airfoil will turn more right it will turn more so because it will turn more means what first what happened some gust came some disturbance came 
and this thing got this thing got displaced now if this is statically stable then it it must have tendency to come back but see what is happening my cg in front my C, C, ac is ahead of cg what is happening it is again you know going away it is not coming towards the uh, equilibrium position it is going away more away so this is not stable so this is statically unstable so if this design is statically unstable then there is no need to discuss dynamic sta dynamic stability so now next thing what will happen if your ac is back side i mean this condition if your radius center is back side in this case what will happen same suppose some gust came this is your uh, cg this time and here is your ac so if your ac is here then what will happen lift will produce this side then this distance into lift will give you moment that moment will take the whole airfoil you know to the back uh, same uh, same position equilibrium position so in this second case we have tendency to come back to original position so this tendency is the criteria for static stability so this design is stable means what you got here one point and this this point is if your uh, aerodynamic center is behind cg this configuration is statically stable okay now same thing we have to check in 3d wing also if you have 3d wing then if this is your cg then again by the logic what i have explained here your ac must lie behind the cg correct then only it will be having tendency to come back to its original position now next thing uh, entire wing plus fuselage plus tail means in case of complete airplane in case of complete airplane things are little different but logic is exactly same now will be you will be master soon see for the end for this component which is wing for this tail and for this fuselage for this for every different different parts you will be having different different cgs right i mean for this fuselage different cg for this different cg this different cg so combined cg will lie somewhere this cg is the cg of entire airplane this cg of aeroplane you know uh, some people say uh, airplane and some says aeroplane so when i joined uh, aerospace engineering aeronautical engineering then i came to know actually they both are same same uh, one is uh, british english and one is uk english i uh, sorry uh, you, uh, you from american english i'm not sure which one but <laughs> simply i said this okay so now what will happen in this case this wing now see this wing will be having its own cg like here i explained this wing will be having its own cg so here again i am explaining this wing will be having its own cg but already i have taken the combined cg effect here so now i will only discuss the ac location aerodynamic center location of the wing so this wing i am considering suppose this wing is having somewhere here so if you see from like this if you see then your ac is uh, behind of cg correct so because of the wing this entire airplane will produce static stability i mean this airplane is statically stable because of the wing now because tail is already behind the cg so wherever ac is does not matter but overall again here ac is behind of the cg so again this will also contribute the positive stability i mean st um, because of tail also this airplane is statically stable now because of wing also it is statically stable because of tail also it is statically stable what about combined effect of both so because of both also it is statically stable now in this case what will happen cannot configuration this is cannot configuration cannot configuration what will happen here again this body part will be having its own cg this will be having its own cg this fuselage will be having its own cg so combined cg let's consider somewhere here main logic is 
you can see suppose ac of the wing is this and ac of the tail is this because we have taken tail from here and we have added here so now see what will happen lift will work here and lift will work here so because of this only wing in this configuration only wing you see this ac is behind of cg so only wing is producing this side movement right so statically stable but only tail i mean in uh, in this what what is the tail here this will produce movement in this direction so this will give you destabilizing effect destabilizing effect means statically not stable so i am saying a new word de stabilizing effect but this will give you stabilizing effect stabilizing effect now what about the combined effect correct this is giving you destabilizing this is giving you stabilizing so combined effect will be what so combined effect depends on moment like this thing is able to produce how much moment this thing is able to produce how much moment so total moment i mean resultant moment uh, if if this is dominating then entire airplane will not be stable if this is dominating then entire airplane will be stable i hope you are getting so in same way suppose they are asking any question in gate like th they will frame question like this suppose you have a question here uh, this is the body here and here we are adding some tail configuration uh, i mean i'm ta talking about some special configuration what what we are creating here we have some kind of wing and suppose here we have one more wing okay and here we have one more wing so wing 1 wing 2 wing 3 now because of all these three i have to discuss and they will mention uh, cg here suppose cg is here then because of all the three we have to discuss stabilizing effect this airplane entire airplane entire body is stable or not so because of wing 1 this is not at all stable because of wing 2 i'm i'm discussing separate separate effects separate separate effects because of wing 1 and because of wing 2 this body is not stable because of both also body is not stable but because of this thing body is stable now what about combined effect again combined effect means which one is dominating if they are giving us data like this is producing this much moment this much moment uh, okay let's talk about suppose this is produ producing moment of 2 unit and this producing moment of 4 unit and this producing moment of 8 unit okay so no doubt 4 and 2 6 so 6 uh, is from this side and 8 is from this side so this entire thing is actually having two unit of moment in this direction got it so here you have to uh, so finally this body is having stabilizing effect during gust now one thing if any object if any object if any body is statically unstable means what pilot can fly or not so logic is if any body is statically unstable it does not mean you cannot fly the object you can fly the airplane you can fly the aircraft only we have to control that for example i was listening a lecture on nptel Uh, that professor, uh, I forgot the name. Uh, he he teaches, uh, you know, like excellent. It it seems like no one can teach like him. So you you must refer that lecture. The professor gave this example. Suppose you are holding this uh, this this stick on your finger. Okay. So you know, holding the stick is not uh, stable thing. But you can control this by the practice. You can control this. He gave this kind of logic, and it is very excellent logic. So in same way. Uh, if your object is not statically stable it does not mean you cannot fly the object only the thing is you have to control that object and if if you if your object is uh, statically uh, more unstable it means it is uh, manu maneuverability is more you know manu maneuverability means that will, that will be easy like fighter planes they don't have uh, they have less uh, stability commercial planes they have more stability because commercial planes they don't have to perform lot of um, uh, maneuver things right maneuverability should be uh, less so st stability should be more but in case of uh, fighter airplanes stability we don't want we want maneuverability so we provide uh, that thing uh, less stable so that's why we don't bother about 
the stability in that case i mean yes we bother but not as compared to the commercial airplane so if you if you will compare the uh, stability of uh, commercial airplane so that is high than stability of fighter jets okay so in next video uh, i'll explain about aerodynamic center thank you and you have to hit the like button you have to comment your doubt you have to comment about the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much